I'm curious about the differences between Next.js, Next.js, Gatsby.js, and Hugo. Can you explain how they compare? Let's start with Next.js. It's a React framework that enables functionalities like server-side rendering and generating static websites. It's known for its ease of use, efficient data fetching, and excellent SL performance. How does that differ from Nux.js? Nux.js is quite similar, but it's based on Vue.js instead of React. It focuses on the same principles as Next.js, like server-side rendering and static site generation, but it leverages Vue.js's ecosystem. It's particularly appreciated for its convention over configuration approach, making it easy to get started. What about Gatsby.js? How does it fit in? Gatsby.js is a React-based framework too, but it's more focused on building static websites. It uses GraphQL for data handling, which allows for powerful data integration from various sources. It's ideal for high-performance websites with rich data sources. And Hugo? Hugo is a bit different. It's a static site generator, but not tied to a specific front-end framework like React or Vue. It's built with Go, and it's known for its speed. Hugo is great for blogs, documentation, and other content-driven websites. Can you give me an example of how you'd fetch data in these frameworks? Sure. In Next.js, you might use get static props for static generation. Here's a simple example. How is that different in Next.js? In Nux.js, you might use async data or fetch. Here's a similar example. I see. And what about Gatsby.js? Gatsby.js uses GraphQL, which looks a bit different. You define a query and the data is injected into your component. And Hugo? Hugo doesn't handle data fetching in the same way. It's more about managing static content files. You define your content in Markdown or other formats, and Hugo generates the site. Interesting. How about deployment? Are there differences there? Next.js and Nux.js are often deployed on platforms like Versal or Netlify, which handle server-side rendering or static site generation seamlessly. Gatsby.js is typically deployed as a static site on services like Netlify or Gatsby Cloud. Hugo, being a static site generator, is easily deployed on GitHub pages, Netlify, or similar platforms. Next.js and Gatsby.js have large communities, especially since they're based on React. They have extensive documentation and plenty of resources. 
Nux.js, while having a smaller community than its React counterparts, is still well supported and has good documentation. Hugo's community is smaller compared to the others, but it's still robust, especially among Go developers. Would you say one is better than the others? If you're into React and need a versatile framework for static generation or server-side rendering, Next.js is excellent. For Vue.js developers, Nux.js is the go-to. Gatsby.js shines in static site generation with rich data integration, and Hugo is unparalleled in speed and simplicity for static content-focused sites. Thanks. This comparison really helps. My pleasure.